it's really loud here. Hey guys, J4 here from HD Warrior channel. Thanks again for tuning in. So the past few weeks have been pretty busy and that's gonna be the same for the next few weeks, unfortunately. I've been tasked to install another CCTV system for another family friend and yeah, it's gonna be a bit difficult. Now, a friend of mine has allowed us to use his AEG as a test bed for our videos. So I intend to take him up on his offer. His AEG is a SIG 550. Uh, if you're familiar with Counter-Strike, it's the counter-terrorist semi-automatic sniper rifle. So let's get the scope out of the way. But for those who are not familiar, this is what a SIG 550 looks like. Okay, let's push the stock out. Oh wait, no. I think you unlock it through this. The build quality is exceptional, very rigid. Our workstation here then it finish in time. I was waiting on some wooden boards to use as a table and shelf, but unfortunately they weren't finished this week. So we can't really put this together to work on the SIG. But yeah, I've uh, been busy this week, so I don't have much for you this time around. However, I think I do need a shave. The past few months since getting out of the hospital, I've been shaving my facial hair here with these. Uh, I think they're called straight razors. This one has a solid blade and this one, which they call the straight razor, has blades which you install on a holder these are really sharp and thankfully I haven't cut myself with any of these yet since I've tried shaving with a straight razor. Let me just get this in here. There we go. Um, yeah, once you get the blade uh, placed in there, you just slide it in. and. Where you go. Uh, the build quality is, uh, yeah, it's it could be better, but you know, uh, for what they are, they've been doing pretty well so far. I initially tried shaving with this first, but I realized that it wasn't sharp enough. So I'm looking for a sharpening stone to basically sharpen this to the level at which, you know, it'll cut easily. Well, I went to the hardware and I got one of these, sharpening stone. Uh, you need like three grits, a thousand grit to create the bevel and then 6,000 grit to like get the blade sharpened. And then you have to finish it off with 10 to 12,000 grit. The stone I got upon closer inspection this just came from a hardware, by the way. It says 120 and 240. So yeah, I've got the wrong stone. My plan is to order a stone I saw on eBay. It's gonna take a while to get here, so. This means we still won't be able to use the one with a solid blade anytime soon. You know, I've been using the one with a safety razor for a couple of months now and so far it's been doing okay. I didn't really have the right shaving cream for a while. In fact, I'm I went to like some shaving store and picked up one of these. Uh, they say this is what I'm supposed to be using. I just I just said Hey, do you have any shaving cream? And this is what they gave me, you know, something cheap to start with. It, well, it wasn't really that cheap. It's 600 pesos, but 
Um, it's the cheapest one they had. I also got some aftershave. I mean, I purchased these two quite recently, and prior to that, I've just been using, uh, you know, normal shaving cream from the can and uh, water to basically do my shaving. So I'm not familiar with brands of blades just yet. This is what they got me, uh, but. It says it's called. Uh, let's see. Focus. It says it's called Dorco Stainless Blade. There's another wrapper, paper wrapper inside. As you can see, it's one blade that has two edges on both sides, upper and lower. I think even the side one has no no it doesn't have since the straight razor that i have uses only one blade i don't know if you can see it Let's see one blade i have to snap these in two i already snapped this one so what i do is basically hold it like this and just you know fold it in half until i hear it snap and then I take one of the halves and place it inside the holder. This holder has a couple of notches that coincide with the uh, notches in the blade as well. And basically that keeps it from moving around. So it's in and I just pull it in. Now let's try this out. Okay, let's get the tissue here. Need cream, need wash. Okay, it's the thing. I'm going to the wash here first. I like to set aside a piece of tissue paper because after um, each stroke that takes out the hairs, I like to clean the blade and wipe it against some dry tissue paper. Interesting. It almost has a silver color to it or pearl white, but it's quite an interesting look. Just imagine 600 pesos or like $12 for this much. It says that you're supposed to rub your skin with the hottest water that you can stand for 30 seconds uh, in the shower or sink. From my experience, colder, warm, it's been fine for me. But in this case, we're just gonna use our hands. So, with the um, normal canned shaving cream, I've uh, had some, you know, Quite okay success using about this much. I like to start with the top. I don't really apply any pressure against the skin with the blade. What you want to do is just make the blade glide along the surface. It feels a bit dry. Now for the lower part. Seems to be smooth. Yeah, this is kind of acceptable for me already. I think we'll end it at that. All right, I forgot the aftershave. Whoops.
fresh. Honestly, not much different. All right, so yeah, um, that was shaving with a straight razor. What got me into trying it out was the fact that there are people who claim that it feels better after you shave. You know, like your skin feels softer, it's less rough. And I think there's some truth to that. I'm not I'm not really sure how, but my skin does feel softer after shaving with one of these. Of course you've gotta do it, you know, carefully and not scar your face up. During and after the shave, you may feel some irritation and it might not feel as if you've got a close enough shave but when your skin dries and you know you let everything set for a while uh, the leftover hairs if there are any at all end up sinking back into the skin and it real it really feels and it feels really smooth this isn't for everybody in my opinion it is very involving uh, the initial costs can be quite high but the feeling you get you know and the smoothness that you're able to achieve with one of these is I think worth the time and effort and the investments thanks so much for tuning in guys you know I hope you guys enjoyed the session with the straight razor if you guys are up for the challenge and are careful with one of these, I suggest you give it a shot and prepare yourself for a smooth and close shave. Anyhow, if you got any comments and suggestions, comment section is down below and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!